Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Sean with Woodward Acres. Today I want to tell you a story about how I broke a PTO shaft on our brand new rotary cutter. It was all because I didn't use bushings. If you think that's crazy, stick around. I'll tell you how I did it. A few weeks ago, I bought this, this mower. Um, it's a RC2072. It's a, two, it's a 2017 model, but apparently the previous owner bought it as some sort of tractor, pa tractor package, and they literally never used it. So I've been shopping for a, a larger bush hog to go on the back of our tractor, and this came for sale. It popped up, and I bought it the very next day. So I get this thing home. Immediately, I want to hook it up and see if it works. I, I back up to it and I put my three point or my, my quick attach. Remember, remember, I used to have a Speedco quick attach with my old tractor that I bought at Tyson's. This tractor came with a John Deere version of it. I hook onto it and I just go. Um, now I should have remembered that I had a bushing problem with this John Deere because two videos ago our box blade popped out the very first time I ever tried to use it. What I should have done is put a bushing on here and that would have made it work better. Let me show you why that would have made it work better. So here's our box blade hooked up to the John Deere iMatch that caused problems for me. You'll notice I have a bushing on here. What does it really do? It makes this finger larger. My Speedco, this, this part came out further so I never really needed them. I never paid attention, I never really thought about it. Maybe I had a smaller tractor, I don't know. But when I put the, that new mower, I did not put this on here. So as you can imagine, we had some problems. Let me tell you how that happened. So what the hell happened, Sean? Good question, I'll tell you. So I did not put any bushings on that, on that mower. I backed up, hooked onto it with the eye match hooked up the three-point attachment, and just took off. As I started to mow my very first path, I start backing down by the pond. As I start to drive away, the mower, the front of the mower catches on some dirt. Um, it pops, it pops the two, two points of the three-point out of the eye match, which then basically sets it on the ground. I then continue to drive away. Because I have headphones on and I'm not really paying attention, that's the next problem. Because I had headphones on, I wasn't hearing all this crash, boom, bang. Because the bottom two points popped out of the, the eye match, the tractor started to pull real heavy because, of course, the mower was driving into the dirt. Instead of turning around, I was like, wow, this is pulling really hard. I reached down and engaged the four-wheel drive and went full gas, no brake. Barouche. I'm getting out of I thought I was kind of stuck. I'm gonna give her hell and get out of here. What happened was the top hook pulled the whole mower until it just until it fell out. Well wham! It fell down into the pond. I then drove away while the three-point the, the, the PTO shaft is still engaged, still spinning, and it just pulled the two pieces apart. So imagine this. My PTO shaft on the tractor is still engaged, it's still spinning at five, 540 RPMs. This, this thing is attached to the back of the tractor. It's now just pulled completely off of the, the, uh, the, the, the mower and I just drag it up the hill. I turn around, I don't see that this is dragging because it's a brand new tractor. I just see my mower down in the pond and I'm like, oh shit, I need to... What do I need to do? I need to back down and go get it. Well, as I begin to back down, I don't see this. I just drive this whole thing directly, directly into the mud. That's our current situation. Once I realized I had done that, I said a lot of mom and dad words and I got off the tractor and I was like, what have I done? Let's take a breather. Um, I did drive back out of the hole and I see this thing is jam-packed full of mud and stuff. Now, is this, is this half of the PTO shaft broken? 
I don't know. Is it bent? I don't know. That's what the next part of this video is gonna be about. How do we take this thing apart and actually fix it and see, do I have to buy a new one or can we move forward? This might surprise you. I've never actually taken a three-point hitch apart before. I see there's a screw here and some snappy things. Hopefully, hopefully this just comes apart and it's just full of mud and I'm able to clean it up, spray a little oil on it and not have to go buy a new one, but we'll see. I'm not completely sure what I'm doing here. There was a couple clips in here. I've just kind of been working it with a screwdriver because again, I've never say like I don't know if, you, if this is going to work. Does this whole thing come out this way? Oh, okay. Okay, hold on until I get a better angle. Okay. So I did these snips here, and what's actually happening is the whole thing's coming out this way. I thought these two pieces were gonna separate apart. Let's see how bad this is. Well, that part's cleaned out. Well, that's part of the problem. The other part of the problem is how do we get the dirt out of there? I'm not 100% sure. Let me go see if I can find something to work on that. I don't probably have the right tools to clean this out. I don't know, maybe a good, just a good screwdriver. Whoop. I don't know. Okay, that works. What I did is I just banged this on the concrete and all that dirt came. So that's how much dirt was inside of this. So now that I have a lot of the dirt off of it, I think this is the piece that like slides in this piece goes inside the other one. I'm just gonna try and clean this up a little bit. And then, I don't know, cover it in some WD-40, put it back together and walk over there and just see if it works. I mean, I can clearly see there's a bend right here. So if you were me and you didn't know what you were doing, Let's just pretend this piece slides inside the other one. We'll go check that next. Would you just go for it? Or could it damage the tractor? I don't know. Right now, I can imagine my, I have a brother who's a poof poof. One of them, he's like, you'll be fine. And the other one's like, don't do it. Don't be stupid. He'd say other things, but I don't know which one to listen to tonight. Let's give it a WD-40 bath. Shit, that might be as good as new, baby. Might be as good as new. Or that might catch on fire. I have no idea. Let's uh, let's do this. So this clearly is larger, so this piece is going to slide into this piece. I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but let's give her a little, let's clean it up a little bit. WD-40 never hurt anybody, did it?
My friend BJ, if you're watching BJ, you assemble tractors like this. You guys should put a warning on there or something that says like, hey, if you drive away and the implement's only half on and your PTO shaft is still spinning, you could freaking break something. That would have been nice to know. That's as far as she can go comfortably, and that's because of that bend. So you can see I can't slide this on here any further because I think the inside of that is probably up to here, and that's about where that bend starts to go. So my question is, Well, it sounds like that's gonna work. So do you think I fixed it? I actually feel in my heart that might work. Now, I also don't know if it's fixed. It might tear the whole tractor apart uh, the next time I go to use it. We're gonna find that in a couple days. If you wanna watch the entire tractor explode in a couple of days, stay tuned, that'll probably be one of the next videos. And I will catch you next time. Jesus, I'm about to get stung by a wasp. <laughs>